Hello people, reef keepers, koi keepers, tank keepers, fish keepers, garden keepers, bonsai keepers, whatever you are, golf keepers. <laughs> um, absolutely pissing it down here in the UK today. I'm just about to go down my tank, uh, sorry tank, um, have a walk through the garden. I was going to clean my filters out, I would give them a quick um, wash on my koi pond. Uh, I just thought I'd do a 10 minute what people call, I don't know, vlog or whatever you want, just a little diary if you want. So, got my tank from the RO water from a marine. Um, yeah, it's absolutely peeing it down today. Um, so, let's just have a quick walk down the garden. How's the koi doing? I've noticed something. You know, look. I've got a new bubbler there that the ends come off. It's always good to have a walk around your pond. Yesterday I noticed the boarding had come off there, look, in the water. Fish are coming to see me. Look at them, bless them. Absolutely marvellous. I'll come and give them a little feed and put that back on when I come back. So there you go. Um, yeah. we go see what's going on try and keep it to 10 minutes so I'll come back up here in 10 when I finish my little video down there see how my green ass is I'll come and put that back on put the board back on I might just uh, spray the filter dump it quick and just give it a quick hose in and that'll keep it going for the week um, so let's have a walk through the garden I've got to get rid of this kids are growing up now garden was more plush if you like and manicured so this winter um, I'm going to have a really good gutting of this and gut it because it used to be really nicely edged um, I've not had the best of three years um, well-being like if you like mentally I've had a couple of hard times and the garden's just gone overgrown so this winter I feel a lot better nowadays a lot more positive so I think I'll get out here and uh, really get this back to its glory it's great that all the shrubs this used to be just lawn from width each side just complete lawn nothing else in this garden so I've planted every single plant in this garden in the last 15 years since I took it over okay so let's go through here. Only might have not been down here for a week. This was my rabbit um, chicken house, or they've gone now. Got none left, so I've got to clear this out. This used to be a pen, a run. There's my greenhouse, my orchid house, and this is just absolutely. Look at it down there with weeds. I could used to walk down there. It was nice and neat. Could walk around the old garden used to have fires at the back but they've got these houses there now so i can't so yeah it's this christmas tree type thing died off but it's got stuff growing through it fabulous this time of year look so let's have a look in the orchid house my koi grow i don't know what i'm gonna find i really don't i've not been in here for a week um, feels nice in here. Shading's coming off soon. Um, let me get this tank off me. Feels nice. Feels about 15 degrees in here at the moment. I've got this branch I got from the LFS yesterday because that's not a leak, it's the overflow on me grow. Everything's looking good. Neos are looking good. What I'm going to do, this hasn't got a dump on it, it's got a plunger so I can clean the filter inside. I put this on additional as well, this is additional to this filter because this always clogged up, it weren't very good at all. Sick of cleaning it, getting up, so I've got this for I think 30 quid, 20 quid, something like that. And what I'm going to do today, I'm going to turn the filter off and I'm going to fit on this return. To this 
I'm just going to cut that, cut that, put tape on each side, put that on, short bit of pipe and put a valve in there. So I can then put a bucket in here, plunge it and then this will divert, the, open the valve, dirty water out into a bucket and then I'll use the bucket of water for my plants. So I've not been in here a week. Not look, looking bad actually. Um, I thought they'd be dry as a crisp. I gave them a good watering on oh Monday, I think. Um, if my memory serves me right, could be wrong. So that's still moist. Wow, actually, everything's doing um, all right. So let's have a look. I put this on in a rush because as some of you know, I did have a coin in here and it dropped, it, it, it jumped out. So this is solid now. It's a bit Heath Robinson. It's not very clever, but it's bits that I had left from my door screening. So I cut it up and I will now use this um, when I don't want to retain the heat in the pond. I have got Sort of screen there that I sit on top so I think I'm going to choose a couple of koi to go in this soon water's looking good Lily's looking good Neo's uh, Neo's are still moist in fact yeah they're doing alright uh, Tama Conga in flower Um, oh, manji charge. I'm going to flower soon. Um, what's that? Russia, Russia Thukarin. Is in flower. So, update on the Neos. There's a few that haven't done as well this year. This one I put on the on the back and it got too dry. You can tell by the leaves, but it's actually recovering now. So I put them in the shade. That's brown bread. And these two aren't doing well. Nishiki. Oh, Nishiki. I'll eat it. Nishiki Miyako. Um, this obviously wasn't getting enough moisture as well too dry neglect so i put that down here but apart from that i have had a lot of flowers this year i've not shown them as much as i should have done to be fair um the garni nashiki or ahime there Sharuga fukaran Beautiful, look at the variegation on that. Um, Miyako Kohapute, something like that, that is. Manazuro, or you. Uh, Kinko Nishiki. Let's smell this. Let's smell this because this is look at that going into there. Look, mmm, beautiful. You're growing moss. I've potted them in bark now because it's just easier. Um, they should last longer in the bark as well. This needs cutting back. Dark in here, like I say, shade's coming off soon because it's getting that time of year where it's not needed. The place needs a good tidy up, but to say I've neglected things again, doing great. Great year with the Neos. Um, the Mazda Valley is to be fair, I mean, look at that. The Belter, that is. It's actually darker in person than it is light that looks quite light there but it's darker than you think um, 
because of the contrast with the light of the cameras. Another boat, uh, Midnight Plum. Do that for a plan. So I just need a good clear out for the flowers. I don't think that's Scabina. No, Ray King Irana. Yeah, there's a walk around. Uh, like I say, need a good clear out. Plants, some of the plants are huge. Some haven't done so well, like this one, mid another midnight plum. Um, in fact, that's Ishbel Kirkwood. Not done so well. It's in moss. The moss has gone bad. Rots. So what I'm doing is, instead of repotting it, because I, I guarantee the roots not be great, I will wait till I get some new shoots like this, and I will divide like that there, look. There we go. We'll take that piece off there. Got roots, and I will get that re-going again in some new bark. Uh, this bloody thing never done well. Coccinia variety Ariana. So leaves are always not been great. And that is it. Quick walk round. Okay. So the next time I'll probably do a video. Well, there's no doubt the shade will come off soon. I'm not going to yet because the timing that I get in here to water is not. Um, frequent enough and if I get a couple of days of sun believe it or not that will still be too hot and may um, make the temperature too high but apart from that I'm gonna do that um, do that return on that in light in that filter that I've got there so I can just pump spray that instead of disconnecting the top every time it soaks everywhere because I don't want too much water in here at the minute now because it will start to condensate really bad on this roof when it gets cold outside at the minute it's okay so I normally try and start trying to be careful with water on the ground now so I'm not too humid because it comes to a point in here where I reach saturation and I want to start drying it a bit is doing well forget the uh, fan you know, it looks a right mess don't it the plant but watch in fact let me do it like this watch sometimes give it a bit of a cheek almost like a new plant <laughs> simple stuff this one's a mess probably going to ditch that too dry Definitely too dry and light, neglect. And that's what a few of my plants. So please subscribe. Some fishy stuff there, pondy stuff, bit of my garden. I'm going to share a lot of what I do on a whole because I do do a lot of stuff. Um, the last couple of years, I do apologize for the orchid people out there because um, not that I've been sidetracked, but I. I'm enjoying other hobbies now, like reef keeping. I'm so into reef keeping because it's indoors. It's absolutely amazing, absolutely so pleasurable to see these living corals thrive and grow. Um, so I'm, if you like, burning the candle at many ends. But hopefully, well not hopefully, hopefully I can share more with you and you may find the diversity of what I do interesting. I've just got to make this in here better because this is a waste look you know it's a waste okay thanks for watching please thumb up please suggest things you want me to look at you've seen my whole garden pond um, you've had 15 minutes of my life what I'm doing today so interact and if you want to know stuff I'll certainly provide any information for you. Thanks for watching. Please thumbs up. Please subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day.